Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be listening to an informational text called Meet the Artist. Now this is going to be giving us true facts and details about what do you think? Listen to the title, Meet the Artist. I bet you can guess that it's going to be about artists or some type of art, right? Titles can help us know more about what the story or the text is going to be about. Well, today's informational text is going to give us some true facts. The skill that we're going to be working with as we listen to this informational text is asking and answering questions. When you read, it's important to ask yourself questions that might come up as you read. Then you continue reading, looking for the answers to your questions, okay? So while we're reading today, we're going to be stopping to ask and answer some of those questions. Let's get started with Meet the Artists. Next week, our school will take part in a special event called Celebrate the Arts. I already have a question. What is Celebrate the Arts? I wonder what it is. I, I wonder what they do. This is what happens as we read. Questions might pop up in our mind. Well, I need to keep reading to see if I can find the answer to find out what Celebrate the Arts is. When you hear the arts, what do you think of? You may think of art class or music. The arts include art and music as well as dancing, acting, singing, and writing. During Celebrate the Arts Week, you will have a chance to learn about different arts. You will also meet local artists. You may be surprised to learn that some of the artists are your classmates. There it is, there's the answer to the question I had. Celebrate the Arts Week is an opportunity to learn about different kinds of art and to meet different kinds of artists. Let's keep reading. Lai Mei Kwan is an artist who will be featured during Celebrate the Arts Week. Lai Mei, a second grader, is a talented piano player. Lai Mei practices playing the piano 10 hours each week. That helps explain why she is so good. Lai Mei started playing the piano when she was only four years old. Lai Mei gave her first solo performance last year at our community's annual summer festival. She played popular songs, classical songs, and jazz songs, and they were all a hit. Her playing was so popular, she has already been asked to perform at next year's festival. Wow, Lai Mei sounds extremely talented, but it makes me wonder, when does she get a chance to practice? It says that she's putting in 10 hours a week. That's a lot of hours. I wonder when she practices. Let's keep reading and see if we can find out when she practices. After school, Lai Mei's mother says, Lai Mei can hardly wait to sit at the piano and play. After about an hour, I encourage her to go outside and play. She goes out and plays, but soon she's back sitting at the piano. The piano is her passion. Anyone who hears her play knows that. Marcos Estrella is another second grade artist. Okay, so I found out when Lai Mei practices, right? When was it? Do you remember? As we read, it was after school. She's spending a lot of time after school practicing her piano. Well, maybe some of you take piano. Maybe you practice after school. That's a good time to practice some of the things that you enjoy, which might be the arts. Let's keep reading and find out about Marcus. Marcus Estrella is another second grade artist. Unlike Lai Mei, Marcus is an actor. His aunt recalls how Marcus would pretend to be characters in stories he heard. When he was younger, we would read him a story, Aunt Linda said. After hearing the story once, he would take on the personality of one of the characters. He would pretend to be a wolf or an explorer all day. We knew that he would be a talented actor. Okay, so we know that Marcus is an actor, but the question I have is, well, what do you do if you're an actor? Where do you get to perform? Let's keep reading and find out what Marcus does. Today, Marcus performs with the community theater. He auditioned for his first part when he was six years old. He played a supporting role in that play. For the second play, the theater director chose a performance that would star the young Marcus. The play earned many awards, including best actor for Marcus. So we found out where he gets to use this acting talent. He uses it at his local theater. So he tries out for plays and opportunities that come up at his local theater. Lai Mei and Marcus's talents represent two different art forms. What art form interests you? If you are not sure, plan to attend the events offered during Celebrate the Arts Week. Come meet Lai Mei, Marcus, and other artists. We're just like any other children, Marcus said. We found what makes us special. Okay, so Meet the Artist was an informational text that gave us information about different types of arts. 
It also gave us information about Lime and Marcus and children just like you who have these special art talents, okay? Now, I wanna tell you about another artist that I've been thinking about. Mrs. Lanier has this dream to go to Australia. I really want to go to Australia. And lately I've been reading about Australia and looking up different things about Australia. Well, I came across an artist who lives in Australia. He's an Australian and his name is Pete Cromer. And Pete Cromer has really beautiful, interesting art. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's exciting. I want to tell you a little bit about Pete Cromer. P. Cromer is a designer and illustrator and a happy art creator who lives in Australia. He loves to design and create and enjoys using different styles of painting. He uses bright colors and shapes to make different personalities, animals, and people. He went to college and got a bachelor's degree in visual communication. He started making cards. That's where he started. And now he makes lots of different types of art and all of them are bright and cheerful. Okay. He really enjoys just making things that he can see around him, including Australian animals. Um, on his website, he has this really fun activity for you that you can print. I've included the link in the Seesaw activity with Pete Cromer's name. If you put that link in, it will take you to where you can print these pieces of colored paper that you put together to make an Australian bird. Now, if you don't have a printer, it's okay. I uploaded some of his free coloring pages that you can use and color to try to make look like Pete Cromer's art. Pete Cromer is just an example of one artist, okay? There are artists all around us and even some of our second grade students are artists, okay? So this is just a fun opportunity to read an informational text, press, practice asking and answering questions, and learning a little bit more about an artist. I hope you enjoy learning more about Pete Cromer.